All right, today we're going to show you a Brown and Sharp cylindrical grinder. This is a universal. Uh, this is a 14 by 30 inch capacity, uh, 14 inch swing, 30 inches between centers. Um, machine is in very nice condition. Um, these are very heavy duty grinders, uh, big heavy castings, everywhere heavy castings, even the cover plates in the front here are heavy casting and the tail sock is very robust and the work head very robust everything about it really um, so this particular model is a universal which means that it can be set in a lot of different ways usually they have ID grinder uh, with that and a headstock that can be rotated or be live or dead and also the grinding wheel spindle has a double compound. In other words, it could be swung uh, on any angle on the top portion of it and still feed in straight uh, at a 90 degree angle or at the very bottom of the slide, the, 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 the main compound, that can be twisted and you'll have um, 30 degrees if you wanted to say set this up as an angle head grinder where you could uh, touch a diameter as well as the shoulder at the same time on a, on a plunge grind. Uh, so obviously we have this uh, right now it has a swing down or fold down ID spindle uh, that we have set up for you at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Now you got a bunch of controls here. You got your start and your stop. You've got your internal spindle which will allow the motor on top to come on or external which will allow the external grinding wheel to come on when you're grinding like that. Um, controls here to start and stop the actual infeed. Control here to start and stop the workhead and table movement. Uh, you got your table speed up here, your longitudinal hand wheel here, uh, your infeed hand wheel here, as well as a dwells left and right and turning your feed, uh, incremental feed on the left side if you only want the left side or both sides or one side or the other and in the center here you have um, the adjustment for how much the increment actually is. All the hydraulics on this machine are in a cabinet on the side of the grinder and the electrical stuff is in the cabinet on the right side of the grinder and behind it and basically inside of it is your coolant tank and your um, hydraulic tank. So we're going to go ahead and start this That's your ID spindle. And here we can start our workhead. Here we can start our table oscillating. For this uh, example, I just want to have the table like this. And when we start up the actual feed, we do have some feed. This will go all the way around till the stop pin comes to the back and comes into contact with that, that stop and the feed will uh, will stop. I think a lot of people might want to do this operation by hand, but if you had to, uh, you could walk away and let this grind on its own. This is a variable speed. Now that chuck is mounted onto a face plate, which is mounted onto the, um, the front portion of the grinding spindle. You can remove that and you can have a, um, a regular chuck put on there or a face plate put on there um, or uh, you can set this up in such a way that uh, the spindle itself is not rotating but the, um, the driver is for um, grinding between centers. And we'll, we'll talk about that when we set it up the other way. Machine right now is currently wired for 440 volts, 460 volts. Um, so I'm going to stop it now. We're going to stop the video. I'm going to swing this back up and set this up for uh, external grinding. Thank you.